Okay, so we just came up with a idea, and uh, since we have nobody out there who gives a shit, which I don't give a shit either, believe me, we might as well name these videos, if I could just adjust the camera right here, uh, we might as well, how you call it, um, okay, we're now calling this the Crazy Joe Show on Facecraft. Right on. So, uh, we're going to be here for quite a while, I think. I don't know. <clears throat> and the Crazy Joe Show... All opinions are my own. And what were we talking about before? You know, we were talking about our favorite subject. Our favorite subject, which is um, how much I hate you people. <laughs> how much I can't stand you people. You people... Oh, Lord, have mercy. You make me, you make me sick, you know? And uh, you want to, like, ignore me because you're a bunch of scumbag, weasel, cocksucker motherfuckers. You don't want to acknowledge... You know, you, you people don't want to acknowledge me. You don't want to pay attention to me. And, by the way, this is not a real show. This is a made-up show. My real show is on the thecrazyjoeshow.com. That's the, T-H-E, thecrazyjoeshow.com. I got an extra piece of scrap paper here. I might as well use it. For tomorrow. Anyway. <clears throat> what I wanted to say. Before we get into uh, whatever. Is. Uh, we're not here to really entertain you because you people you don't deserve to be entertained you don't deserve uh, my talent you don't deserve anything you deserve to be fucked in the ass with a big pogo stick <laughs> that's what you fucking deserve uh you people are, are such scum. I hate all of you. Because you have not proven yourselves to me that you people are for real. And I have been saying this for years already. And I never get tired of not saying it. And in our other video, we did another video before this. We're talking about. I'm going to be the first person to have 5,000 scumbag friends who mean nothing to me. And uh, so you guys just keep accepting our friendship request because we're going to go on a huge roller coaster ride. Now, to let you people know, I have a show. As I said, the crazy Joe show dot com. And I don't need to prove to you motherfuckers anything, because you motherfuckers don't prove yourselves to me that you're good, decent people. You're a bunch of scumbags. Low life motherfuckers that only care about yourselves, you're selfish, self absorbed, and whatnot. Uh, 
Um, so I try to think of my next sentence to say. It, I am lucky. You know, if if I just did this, right? These stupid, retarded videos for a bunch of ungrateful sons of bitches like you people who are scumbags, lowlifes, cocksuckers, junkies, stick it up your fucking ass type of people who ride the unicycle with no seat down a bumpy road of life. I would just say this is not happening. This ain't working. This is not for me. Why am I wasting my time here? And, uh, but here's the thing. I'm lucky that I am not wasting my mind, that I am not doing this particular video with no accomplishment whatsoever. There is an accomplishment to this. First of all, like I said a few seconds ago, if I had to do this, if I had to do this because I needed to do this, the Crazy Joe show on face crap, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, it, it could have worked. The problem is I hate you motherfuckers so much because over the years of me doing these videos and over the years of me trying to promote the Crazy Joe show, I have received no cooperation from you people at all. You people have lied to me. You're a bunch of scoundrels. I, I, I bet you don't even know what that word means because you're a bunch of punks. You're a bunch of pussies. You're a bunch of liars. You're pathetic losers. You're scumbags. You only care about yourselves. You don't care about people like me. And I'm and I'm sick of people like you. And as I said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. And it just doesn't happen with you scumbags. You are consistently scumbags. You consistently try to hurt me by ignoring me, ignoring who I am, not being interested in me and my show. So, you know what? You could go fuck your mothers, your sisters, and your grandmothers, and your uncles, and anybody else in your fucking piece of shit family. Because I have found a way to defeat you. That's right. I have found a way to defeat you people. Because these videos that I'm doing right now, it don't mean a thing if I ain't got that swing. Do da, do da, do da. That's something you don't know anything about either. That was a way back different culture, the Jazz Age. You people are so fucking ignorant, stupid motherfuckers. You're probably, some of you, are, see, the problem with you people is that you're from out of state. And people from out of state are very ignorant. You're not sophisticated like us New Yorkers. And you tend to live in the swamplands of Florida or Alabama or some fucking piece of shit state. And maybe the state is not a piece of shit, but the people who live there are pieces of shit. You know, they got that fucking southern yeehaw mentality. Which is not open-minded to culture. See, in New York, we have culture. Uh, we're exposed to culture. We're exposed to the finer things in life. And you have no idea what that is because you're a bunch of retards. And this is why you don't appreciate the Crazy Joe show or Crazy Joe. This is why I've been having nothing but problems with you fucking cocksucker weasel fucks for years now. For years. 
the same shit over and over again. You don't want to pay attention. You don't want to fucking acknowledge me. You want to ignore me. You want to be selfish, self-absorbed, and self-centered. Like the rat bastards that you are. So, you know, it is what it is, right? But as I said before, luckily, I could do this without going crazy. This is now uh, like a hobby. Uh, this is just to, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Because nothing I say matters to you scumbags. The internet, unsocial media bullshit that you people represent. Whatever I say doesn't matter. But what I do matters. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a, uh, uh, the crazy, crazy Joe show video chronicles. But it is the crazy Joe show on Facecraft. That's the... Official title. So, uh, and, uh, again, again, and again, and again. The reason why I am lucky is because I'm not depending on a bunch of low life douchebags like you people out there to. Support me, watch my videos, comment, whatever. You people are a bunch of scum, okay? Lazy motherfuckers that only care about yourselves. This is the type of generation we have. Instead of it being the modern generation of technology, which is wonderful, and then at the same time, it's not wonderful because people don't care about you. Certainly people don't care about me. They don't care about my show. They don't care about my existence. I've done this so many times over the years. And I played the stupid fucking game. Of acceptance. It doesn't work. You get nothing out of it. Because people are liars. Pathetic losers. Pathetic liars. The same people that you thought... Where you on, on your friends list that you thought you could depend on, they are scum. They're liars. Howard Stern, over the years of his broadcasting, had loyal people because he didn't have to be bought. Imagine if he was on Facecraft. Now you know he couldn't do a lot of the bits and comedy, R rated stuff. He couldn't do that on Facecraft. He couldn't do that on Instagram. He might be able to get away with it on YouTube. But, you know, can you imagine Howard Stern trying to do a show on social media? It would never work. He would never have been as famous as he is now. He was on a much better platform. He was on regular radio. And for years he was handcuffed like this still managed to do one of the greatest into uh, one of the greatest radio shows of all time and um and um you know then went to uh satellite radio try to get these glasses uh and uh really really found this mark on satellite and uh really loved it but you cannot be successful. He had told one of his fans to go, uh, wanted to do a show. Because everybody wants to do a show, right? And Howard said to him, well, you got to go on the internet. It's the only way. The guy knew that going on the internet was a losing proposition. Me being here... Right now is a losing proposition because of you scumbag, weasel, cocksucker, subhumanoid pieces of fucking dog shit. 
It's a losing proposition. But I think I found a way to become one of the most successful internet radio shows ever. So, um, anyway, I, uh, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. If people, like right now, we had one person up there, and they, uh, they failed to uh, uh, identify themselves. And I got a real hang-up with that. And I don't know if I should flip the camera. Or, or, or what not. But anyway, um, so as I was saying, I have a way right now of this idea struck me a long time ago and um, and I was kind of fooling around with it in my mind. And. Uh, just was messing around with it. Because I was about to change my life forever. I was going to probably move to a different location. And then I started playing around with the idea. That this region needs a savior. Not just in rock and roll music, but also in the, in the entertainment business. And uh, I found an idea that is practically foolproof. But it depends on how hard I'm willing to work to get it done. So, if this idea works out for the best, which I think it will, then being here is just a joke. This is just entertainment for me. But at the same time, it also says that you people are a bunch of motherfucking assholes. And that's what the Crazy Joe Show on Facecraft is all about. To expose you scumbags, the pieces of fucking dog shit that you really are. The subhumanoid dog shit. So you see, I can afford to play like this. I can afford to be as ridiculous... As I want to be. You feel me? Of course you feel me. You feel your own asshole. Bunch of fucking dick licking cocksuckers. <laughs> oh man. So. Uh, you know. I'm not going to devote. My valuable time to this crap, you know what I mean? And uh, and whatnot, you know, uh, doing these, uh, doing the Crazy Joe show on Face Crap. I, I, this is not 
this is not a dedicated uh, thing. You know, this is, you know, this is not, you know, for real. Uh, the crazy Joe show dot com is for real. You know, not this at all. Anyway, everything is working out for me. It's just now a matter of a matter of, you know, putting it together. Oh God. Yeah, putting it together, right on. Anyway, uh, this this is going to work. I mean, the big plan. I'm going to call it the big plan. And you know what's great about the big plan? I don't need you scumbags to be involved in it. You're not going to be invited to the Crazy Joe Show. dot com. You're not going to be invited. I'm not going to. Promoted here. I'm not going to do anything about it. To let you people know. Because you're a bunch of fucking low life scum. And. Uh, we're not going to. We're not going to. We're not going to cue you in. Because you don't deserve it. You don't fucking deserve it. You're lucky enough that I'm doing these stupid, retarded videos here. And now this is called the Crazy Joe Show on Facecraft. I'm going to have more people that are going to pay attention to me with the plan than I ever had here on Facecraft. You hear me? You feel me? Since you people have decided to act like a bunch of scumbags toward me, and douchebags that you are, and failures that you are, and losers that you are, thank goodness that my plan is going to bring in people simply by promoting my show to the outside world, not the face crap world, not the Instagram world, none of the social media platforms I don't fucking need. Because of you fucking cocksucker motherfuckers who have disrespected me to no end. As I said before, the definition of insanity is trying to do the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. That is not happening. What is happening is the insanity. No matter how hard I have tried over the years to get you scumbags to pay attention to me, you lie to me, you deceive me, you're a bunch of fucking cocksuckers. I hate all of you. And I don't need you people. I don't. What I have is a brain. And I'm going to start using that brain to promote the greatest internet radio show of all time without you fucking assholes. Without face crap, without Instagram, without nothing. None of it. None of this social media crap. It doesn't work. I've already said why it doesn't work in my last video, why it doesn't work. If you want to know why it doesn't work, 
and the mechanics of it, A through A through D or whatever, then go see my other video, and I'll tell you why on social media does not work here from the Crazy Joe Show. And like I said, I'm not going to beg people. I'm not going to suck anybody's dick or beg people. That is so over with. My promotion of my show is so over with. You're not invited. You're not going to be invited. You're just going to sit there and stare at me like this weasel over here is doing, or her, and that's all you're going to do. We're going to be so busy starting tomorrow, the launch of the Crazy Joe Show. We're not going to have time to come here and talk to you losers. We're not going to have time for that. Right now, we have time until kickoff. So, I think once in a while, if we feel up to it, we're going to do the Crazy Joe show here on Facecraft. Simply to remind you people of what weasel, lowlife, pieces of fucking dog shit you fucking people are. Just to remind you and to remind me of all the failures and the unsuccess that we have experienced here on Facecraft, on our page. Because of you fucking losers. And this is what you are. You're fucking losers. I'm a fucking winner. Because for over five years I have struggled. On unsocial media, face crap here. I do have a YouTube page. I don't even hardly use that. To get my show. To you fucking scumbags. And what did you do? You did nothing. You didn't acknowledge me. You lied to me. You're a bunch of fucking assholes is what you are. You are a bunch of fucking retards. You know that? Did you go to retard school and ride the blue bus? Is that what you fucking did, assholes? Because it shows. So much for modern technology that you fucking scumbags are out here doing your stupid, mentally retarded bullshit that nobody really cares about. Except you and your buttholes. Nobody cares. The outside world doesn't care about you. And neither does the Crazy Joe Show. We don't care about you. Okay? You're you're insignificant bunch of fucking weasel, maggot, human dog shit. That's what you are. Human dog shit. Okay? You don't exist... On this glass. Right here. You don't exist. You're make-believe. 
You're a fantasy. You're not real. So, why don't you, whoever's out here, why don't you go fuck off and go jerk off or play with your pussy, you know, in the fucking corner. Because you're a fucking loser. You're a piece of shit. You mean nothing to me. This doesn't mean nothing to me. You scumbag, low life, whatever I'm pushing, almost 300 fucking non-friend, jerk off, dork, cocksucker motherfuckers, out of state douchebags that have sex with fucking farm animals. You know, you mean nothing to me. Because I have the plan now to be famous. Famous? Right here. Not here on face crap. But on the internet. On my website. The first few months of my campaign to change this region, I'm going to have hundreds, hundreds who are going to flock to me. And they're going to be like, my God, there is a Savior. And they're right. And you people, you know what you're going to do? While I'm being successful, you're going to suck dick for milk money on the fucking corner. You're going to have a fucking pogo stick shove up your fucking pussies or your assholes. And you're going to do the same thing you've always done. Waste your fucking life on unsocial media. Yeah. You're going to be out there sucking dick for milk money, begging for a friend, like you always do. And yours truly is going to be out here, not here, out there. Making it big in a short time. A very short time. And it's not going to really surprise me. But it's going to make me damn proud. Just like a proud dad. I'm going to be a proud dad. To my show. The show of shows. You fucking losers. Why does this loser keep staying over here? And oh, Good. Good. Get out. Anyway. I'm feeling a little hungry. So we're going to continue the. Uh, the. Uh, the uh, the Crazy Joe show here on Face Crap. Should I call it Loser Face Crap? I think we should call it Loser Face Crap. Because uh, this ain't a real show. This is just nonsense. But as I was doing this, I said, you know what? Let's Let's do a few things over here. And, uh, why not? Why not? Because we're, we're getting hungry. And, uh, you know, now, what I'm going about to do See if I can take the flash off. Is it the flash? Good. What I like to do is actually, I don't have a tripod here, so this is going to be very, very difficult. Okay, how about, oh, we could do that? All right, let's try that. Because we're not looking for, uh, I can't turn my phone when I'm live. Let's try that again. What do you mean I can't? 
Okay, it says I can't turn my phone live. All right. This is not going to be perfect. Because I don't give a fucking flying fuck about um, you rat bastards. You know, that's, that's what you are, a bunch of... Uh... Well, I will try to do something here. Let's see. Perhaps this will help. Nope, that's not going to help. Oh, shit. Okay. We've got to find something here that will uh, hold the phone. I shouldn't even have to go out of my way for you fucking losers. But you know what? Fuck it. Who cares, right? So let's try this. First of all, let's clean the phone. By the way, you're tuning in to the uh, Crazy Crazy Joe Fiasco. Here on. Oh shit. That's not gonna work. Okay. I mean, I could do this. I don't care. Let's see if this will help. I'm trying to make the camera straight. That's not gonna work. Okay. Let's see. Something will work. I have my uh, screws over here. There's got to be something thin. Really thin. Okay. How about if we do... Something like that. That exploded in my fingers. God. Wow. You mean to tell me that I don't have anything in my bag of tricks? Are you serious? Okay, how about this? See, we're trying to make the phone like this. Okay, that's good. All right, so here, actually we need something. Uh, that's too forward. Nothing's working so far. I will find something. I have a lot of stuff here in my in my tool thing. I just trying to get this fucking phone. Should I go for that? Yeah, let me, uh, okay, a little bit more light there. I still don't think I have it, what I'm looking for. See, if you think I'm boring, right? Seriously. I think I found something. If you think I'm boring, right? Can you imagine... Just how fucking boring, uh, you know, you scumbag people are. I think I got it. Okay. All right. How's that work? Oh, it's doing pretty good. See, I got these screws over here. I got about 
all these screws, and I was trying to make the foam, um, you know, trying to get the foam straight out, straight, straight now. Ah. So, like, I, oh, what's this? All right, right on. So I think we got our phone situated. And, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of pigs out here on Facecraft. Um, a lot of people that spend all their time sucking dick for milk money, kissing everybody's ass, you know, all this kind of stuff, wasting their fucking lives, you know. Well... I hope you fucking assholes don't think that I'm one of those type of people, right? You, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do believe in cleanliness, and I do believe in um, in doing your dishes, for instance. So. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to do our dishes. And I don't care how long it takes. Because you know, a lot of you people are not very clean. I think a, a lot of you people are very filthy and disgusting. And, uh, like I said, I'm not doing a real show here. I'm just fucking around. Because you people don't deserve a real show. And there are also limitations on uh, Facecraft here that we can't really play music or... Or anything like that. So right now we're going to be like. We're going to be like Martha Stewart. And we're going to. Teach you people. A valuable lesson. That. Uh, a lot of you are pigs. Because you. Don't pay attention to my show. You don't pay attention to the Crazy Joe show. You know. I wouldn't have to do this if you did. But this is sort of like a punishment to you scumbags for, you know, for not paying attention to us when we asked you nicely to pay attention to us. And what did you choose to do? You, you chose not to pay attention to us, right? Okay. So now... Now, we're going to do our dishes. Right on. Ugh. Disgusting. Totally. So, yes, we are live on the air, and we are doing our dishes. There's nothing wrong with that. I find it very relaxing. Now, this is your punishment for, um, this is called Crazy Joe doing his dishes. Okay. Excellent. Well, right now we were doing our dishes, but now we have to uh, pee, so we'll be right back. Uh, watch, watch all my dishes, okay? Not wash them, watch them. Yeah. Ugh.
We are back, and we are going to continue to do our dishes. Oh, oh, look at all the people out there staring at us. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yuck. Get the shit out of her. See, you got to have your, your washer here just to prove I'm doing it. Because, you know, like I said, if you people would have paid attention to me, instead of being a bunch of fucking scumbags that you are, and a bunch of fucking lowlifes that you are, uh, I think I'm onto something here. I think the Crazy Joe show on Facecraft is a way to punish you scumbags for, you know, not paying attention to me. And being a bunch of assholes that you will always be. Right on. You will always be a bunch of fucking losers. You know that? And, you know, to be honest with you, I don't need losers in my life. You know? I don't want losers in my life. I never asked for you scumbags. Like, in other words, I didn't know that you fucking scumbags were going to be the weasels, you know, that you are, that you turned out to be. Now, this is a new group of people I have here, of course. You people, I've been doing this for five years, so... Uh, you know, you're not the same, you're not the same people from five years ago. I think when I started Facecraft. So, um, yeah, I hear you. So you're not the same fuck face motherfuckers, you know. Mmm, nice and clean. Isn't it nice to do your dishes and do the Crazy Joe show on Facecraft? <laughs> oh, shit. You people suck fucking Mohammed cock. <laughs> you suck Mohammed cock. Yeah. Well, this is your punishment. Watching me do my dishes. I don't care if you're watching live or you watch it on the pre-recording. You watch it for a few minutes and then you say, fuck this. I don't really don't care. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? I don't give a flying fuck. You, know, you, you, you people have done me... You've done me wrong, man. You've done me fucking wrong, yo. Yo. Hey, if I talk like a black rapper, would that... Would that... Even the white guys want to be like rappers, you know? I think we call them wiggers or something like that. Maybe you'd be more comfortable if I, you know... If I spoke in, uh, you know, in a rap genre, maybe you'd be uh, more comfortable that, right? If I go, yo, 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 what's up with shit, motherfucker this and motherfucker that. I mean, that's the language today, right? Everybody wants to be a, a wannabe thug, you know, black and white, black males and... White women are together now. A strange new world that we live in today. Really strange. But hey, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, right? Okay. See, that's the world I come from. It wasn't like that. It was always there. But it wasn't advertised. It's the way it is today. It's a mockery today. You know, people uh, are together on 
making these commercials. You know, black, white, gay, straight. It's a different world today. And I'll be honest with you people, it's not my world. And it never will be my world. So, you know, I don't know. If the, uh, you know, I'm sure the creator doesn't approve of that type of stuff. Not all of it, but you know, whatever. I mean, there are rules for mankind. You can find some of those rules in your Bible. Whatever. You know what I mean. Right? I don't know what other documentation there is. It's interesting to know that if you looked in the Bible, right, I know this is, it's a sin to be uh, homosexual, but is it a sin for races uh, to interact with each other, you know, as whatever, lovers, you know? I wonder if that says it in the Bible. That, you know, like a, a Chinese person can't go out with a white person and blah, blah, blah. Uh, or a uh, Ecuadorian can't go out with a Scottish person. I don't think those things really matter. But what does matter is the black and white thing. And I just was curious to know if that's in the Bible. Or is that just something that you know, that we're uncomfortable with because it goes to the days of the Civil War. It goes to the days, you know, where race was, uh, you know, was a big issue. And those days it was definitely forbidden. You couldn't walk down the street. A white couple, I mean a white woman and a black man could not walk down the street for, for hundreds of years. So, I, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting, that's all. But I guess if it doesn't say it in the Bible, then maybe uh, it's just something that we made up, taboo, you know, taboo-wise. You know, it's, it's something that's taboo, but it's something that we made up. You know, especially down in the south. Y'all can't be together, you hear? Anyway, that's not really my concern. I'm just making conversation while I'm doing my dishes. By the way, you're tuning in to the Crazy Joe Show on Facecraft. This, uh, see, I'm a, uh, like a renaissance man. I'm always trying to reinvent myself when I have the, uh, the opportunity to do that. When an idea comes across my head, this idea is because I can't stand you people. You people have fucked me around for the longest time. You don't care about me and my show. And, uh, you know, it's just being a bunch of fucking low-life scumbags that you really are. And I'm sure you're like this in real life. Oh, Joe, we don't act like this in real life. We actually care about our neighbors. You know, we check on our seniors. We help them. You see people on the street. We help them. You know what you are? You are what you really are. You're full of shit. Because if you act like this... On face crap, ignoring people, not supporting people in their show, you're probably like this in real life. I'm not saying that's a hundred percent true, but I think it's pretty true, you know, that you people are scum. 
You're scum toward me. You're scum toward yourselves. You're scum toward other people. And, uh, you know, you're not nice. Not at all. You are low lives. <laughs> oh, shit. No, really, you are. And I'm not joking. I wonder why the water is not as hot. Usually this water is like burning my fingers. Hmm. See how hard I work? I do the Crazy Joe show, which is going to be, uh, you know, the best of the best. And then, um, you know what I mean? I do the Crazy Joe show. I do my dishes, which is hard work because I do tend to pile them up, you know? Is, uh, I think doing dishes is as hard as being pregnant. No, I'm only kidding. That's not true. But I, I hate doing dishes. But you know what? You got to do it, man. Got to do it. Wow. This thing is on extra high and I'm not in the water at best is like lukewarm well anyway this is punishment I'm doing this I'm not going to entertain you fucking cocksuckers This is punishment for not acknowledging your king. And you say, oh, Joe, why are you calling yourself a king? Because my show, the Crazy Joe show, the real show, on the internet is going to be the king of all shows. Matter of fact, I am replacing the king of media, Howard. He's not, he's not what he used to be. He's just not. And I'm going to take over for him. That's all. No biggie. You know, I'm going to take over for Howard. And uh, my show will be different, but it will be very, very, very entertaining. Because I would never, see I come from a, some kind of a background, I, 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 <laughs> you, you know, I want to entertain people. You know, and, and I've always had that, that fire in me to entertain people, to do good work. I just have that natural ability to say, look, if I play a song, 
it's going to be great. You know what I mean? It's going to be great. It's going to be entertaining. People are going to love it. I just have that ability to play great material. I've never been boring. Even when I was a child, I was never boring. Clean my sink here. Never was boring. I always played good material. Always played good shit, good songs. I learned, though, over the years, to play good material and never... Try to be boring doing it. So anyway, I have to do something. Make myself some, some food. Now, I'm not going to put you to the torture of that. Okay? I promise you. But I'm going to make some breakfast here, a late breakfast. I'm waiting for my chicken to defrost and uh, make myself some, um, make myself a good, uh, whatever I'm going to make. I think it's going to be chicken, shrimp over Indian sauce. Oh no. Do I have rice? No, but I have thin noodles. Yummy, yummy. Right on. All right. The Crazy Joe Show on Face Crap is signing off. Let me get rid of that light because it's right in my eye over here. And it was definitely your pleasure seeing me. Go fuck yourselves.